Okay, this video is about the global water budget. And by the end of the lesson, I want you to be able to explain what, what the water budget is and write a summary passage on it and then uh, start to look at the implications on human interactions and hopefully be able to write a paragraph on how the water budget um, affects humans. So by the end of the lesson, I want you to be able to explain what the water budget is and then how um, it impacts on humans. So our keywords are hydrological cycle, as always, human impacts and uh, global water budget. So what's the water budget? Well, it's basically a summary of where the weather's, um, sorry, of where the hydrosphere's inputs are. Um, as a result, there's plenty of water for everyone, with the average of renewable water to be around 3,000 meter cubed, compared to the average consumption, which is around 750 uh, meters cubed per person around the world. The um, table on your right there um, shows how much precipitation and also shows the evaporation and runoff by each region. Now as we can see there the inputs and outputs equal itself out so there is plenty of water for everyone. The problem is, is the location and quality of water is determined by locational features such as climat climatic features and then biophysical uh, features as geology. One thing you've got to start putting together is the link between the th spheres. Why do you think we've been talking about geomorphological processes um, and the lithosphere is because if we have bedrock underneath our feet and um, we've got you know water um, if it's an impermeable rock which means it can't soak through the water is just going to run off therefore it might be hard to actually um, you know keep whereas if the rock is permeable and that means it allows water to seep through then um, we're more likely to have that groundwater storage so locational factors are really really important when we look at the global water budget. Um, as you can see, we've got heaps of water, but the problem is it's not evenly distributed around the world, and that's the problem with the water budget. So um, when we do look at the implications of humans, it's going to be where people live. Um, so as I've been saying, water is uneven and distributed. It means there are different amounts in different places. The size and location of continents produces particularly interactions between lithosphere and the general atmospheric circulations. So what that's saying is that the bigger the continent, the bigger the land mass, the more likely we have areas of deserts and lack of water. And if you just look at Australia as one big land mass, it's true, isn't it? Two thirds of Australia is desert and we do have problems with water. Also, um, it's going to affect the climate as well. Big land mass, some parts of the um, land are going to have more water than others. Uh, with the different distributions of rainfall means that each continent will have distinctive fauna and flora characteristics. And this is where we're starting linking our hydrosphere to the biosphere. The location of the continent is going to affect how much rain it gets, therefore what grows there. So we can start seeing another sphere there, the biosphere linking with the hydrosphere. So the world's pattern of vegetation is always is also linked to the global water budget as well as which then affects human impacts. Um, humans love living near places where there's lots of vegetation where we can grow things. So water is very very important and it has massive massive knock-on effects particularly for humans. Um, however We've got to remember that these water budgets aren't constant. For, for humans it might be because we don't have quickly compared to geological time. So we've got to remember that these water budgets will change. And when we look at human implications, particularly climate change, um, we need to look at a long term view as well. So when we're talking about human implications, uh, the water budget affects where we live, what we do there, um, and it makes it easier for people to live if there's a good source of water. Okay, hopefully you've learned what the water budget is and then its impacts on humans. Okay, thanks for watching.